And now, the nominees for the Brawl Owen Award for Best Mummy are The Yeti And the Yeti! Prince Carries Daryl Van Horn holding Prince Carries back The Aztec Mummy The Mummy will have her for supper! The Mummy The Mummy The Mummy The Mummy The Mummy La Mamia. La Mamia. Mecha Mummy He's a mechanical mummy with a giant metal fist Best mummy. Wow. Oof. So you heard there, you heard there, maybe you heard the mummy, the mummy, the mummy, and you're thinking to yourself, was there, was this, was the track skipping? No, no, no. Those are all different mummies. Again, you can see all the videos attached to these packages uh, on our Instagram. And Brett, what's the Instagram handle? We got Wrestling Club WFMU. You can see Benny Ramirez from NWA Hollywood as the mummy. Ron Fuller from Memphis Wrestling as the mummy. Eddie Marlin from Memphis Wrestling as the mummy. Rob Mays from Smoking Mountain Wrestling as Prince Karras. Uh, and, and the famous La Mumia. Oh, I got to say, this is, this is the award I love. I think one of the things that's missing in wrestling today is the wrestling mummy. Uh, it was a staple of, again, you see how many wrestling mummies there were in the territorial days, in the 60s, and the 70s, and into the 80s. I think it's a great character. In a lot of ways, the Undertaker, the original Undertaker, was inspired by wrestling mummies. Um, Lomomia alone was one of the biggest draws in the 1960s and the 1970s in Argentina. As, uh, you know, I forget the guy he wrestled. Oh, what was that guy's name? It was in Titanus and El Ring, which was... Martin Cardagian. Martin Cardagian, thank you, was the top baby face and the promoter. They had wrestling magicians. They had a wrestling devil. And, of course, they had Lomomia. Um, also, Led Negro Momia. They had all kinds of uh, spinoffs of that character. But I love... La Mumia. La Mumia. Yeah, La Mumia was their Ric Flair. It was their Randy Orton. Their top heel was a, yes. a wrestling mummy. A mummy. A wrapped mummy. And I always wonder, you know, what's the origin story for these mummies? Are these like artifacts that were stolen by colonialists? You know, I think that's something that, about mummies that's kind of interesting is it kind of says a lot about us as people. And I like my wrestling to have like a geopolitical and a, uh, you know, a, a social consciousness to it. Uh, and I think the mummy brings that. Honestly, if I could create a, a wrestling character for myself, it could be sort of a 19th century explorer that uh, maybe had discovered the mummy. Maybe I have like a little, like a little assistant that I, I beat with reeds. And... That's good. That's good. You're kind of like, you've been over there, you know, you went to the, uh, you know, you went down into uh, the un the untamed wilds, and uh, you went through and you found any shiny object you could, and you brought it back to put in the museum in your prized possession. You know, of all the art you stole, of all the uh, precious artifacts and cultural uh, and cultural objects with great significance, that your prized possession is the mummy you found in a in a tomb, and you brought back to life. I think that's a great idea. And and it sets it up for a great baby first turn, you know. The the monster turns on on the man. Oh, uh, absolutely. You unwrap him and he is gorgeous. Yeah. He looks like Yul Brenner from the <laughs> King and I. Yeah. <laughs> or like like a shaved Roman Reigns. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that. Wow, this is a great idea. You know what? I think I think Oh, and you know what? I could come out and I could throw pennies at the crowd. <laughs> And they're, my, they're Babu's pennies, my assistant. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about your assistant for a second. You have an assistant named Babu. Yes. And I, this, sounds this sounds troubling. It sounds troubling because that'll be part of it. I'll say a lot of like, you know, Nash, I'll just use like if National Geographic is written by like the worst ivory poachers. I'll like refer to it like it was, where he's from. It it was. Uh, oh, uh, this is my, my, my assistant from the uncivilized world. I've got a, maybe I'll have a big bushy mustache. All right. I think we're getting you in trouble here. Well, I, think it's, I think it's money. We're going to workshop it. We're going to work on it. This, I just want to announce this will be my last show on WFMU. <laughs> I'm now I'm a full-time wrestling fan fiction writer uh, inspired by the mummy, La Momia, La Mumia, 
uh, the Mecca Mummy. Tell us about the Mecca Mummy. The Mecha Mummy has a, a, a detachable fist. Sort of, he's sort of like a kaiju. Uh, he can shoot a, a fist from one hand, then on the other hand, he's got a drill. There's a great match um, where he wrestles a tree uh, in Chikara, and he drills into the tree. Uh, it's it's a really fantastic uh, thing. I, I recommend you check it out. Um, yeah, Mecha Mummy might be my pick, but I. La Mumia was just such a big star in Titanus and El Ring, which is a, a fun, very niche uh, wrestling brand that even the most, you know, deep wrestling nerds might not know about. So I, you know, I, I'm right. going to have to go with La Mumia. La Mumia. I, well, I'm torn between La Mumia and Mecha Mummy, but the thing about La Mumia is I think he was more than a mummy. You know, he was more than a wrestling mummy. And Mecha Mummy was like, I'm going with, you know what, I'm going to change. I'm going with Mecha Mummy. I think, okay. Mecha, not even that I think La Mumia shouldn't win. I think La Mumia should win. But I think, I'm trying to like, you know how I've been wrong all night. I'm trying to like outthink the committee. And I'm like, well, if I'm sure La Mumia is going to win, like they have to win. So this committee is just going to screw it up. So I'm going to go with Mecha Mummy. Uh, we might as well just announce who the winner is. Yeah. The winner of best wrestling mummy goes to. Ooh, the streak continues. La Momia. Wow. La Momia, best wrestling mummy. Ah, you know, I said that was going to happen. You know, I, I think I've got the golden touch tonight so far. I've, 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 I've been on, on the fence about some of them, but really I've called all of them correctly. So I'm feeling pretty great about myself and my, my judge of character. I align well, with the WFME board of directors. Considering you have the scroll. I, I don't. Look, okay. the scroll, right. I haven't opened up the pages for the next ones yet. I'm not even picking. Wait, so, we, we don't even, so you're just picking the winners. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. The winners are written down. You notice how I have to grab the all book right, every time. All right. All right. Everybody's got an excuse now. I, should we go to, do we have Lamomia? Should we go to Lamomia to accept the award? Uh, well, Lamomia is dead. Oh my he God. He died, I think, in uh, like 1991 or something. Was he mummified? <laughs> like, a, like a luchador, when they die, they're buried in the mask. He has to <laughs> duck <K-fame laughs> get mummified. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we got some scrub to accept the award, so here's some scrub. Hello, this is the hardcore legend, Mick Foley, three-time WWE champion. Uh, Two of those victories came over Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And uh, I'm here representing uh, the wrestling club with Darren and Brett to accept the award for best wrestling mummy um, for uh, La Mumia, who can't be here today. And so I am going to accept this award on his behalf and try my best not to pretend uh, that I'm not hurt, heartbroken by the fact that I was told that mankind, mankind was not scary enough to accept that award. And I, oh, oh God, sorry, guys. I know I'm supposed to be accepting this war award. I'm sure Lamumia, uh, yeah, but th- I'm sorry. This just really burns my butt, okay? You say mankind's not scary. I say he's got proof that he is, okay? And he's willing to show it to you. Hold on just a second. Let me get him. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake, spooks come out for a swinging wake. Happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize. Have a nice day. Take it, dude. Ow, daddy. <laughs> now don't close your eyes. Ow, don't try to hide. Ow, a silly spook may sit by your side. Shrouded in a death disguise, daddy. They pretend to terrorize. Ow, grim grinning ghost, daddy. They come out to socialize. Ow, have mercy. There. That's scary. I know it's scary when I see it, and that's, that's scary. La Mumia, all right, I'll accept this award on your behalf, but I'm not happy about it. You suck.